All right, so let's take a look at a basic perceptron network. And you might be saying, why are we so interested in this very old um, type of network? It's not old. This is neural networks. It, they are perceptron networks. Um, so, you know, just as it goes to show you that the concept is not new. It's just that we have now scaled it and we have a lot more compute and we're not connecting everything by hand, right? So a basic perceptron has an input and output layer. Each layer con contains a number of nodes. Nodes between layers have established connections that are weighted. So here is that example. The amount of nodes in the input layer, the input layer, right? I'm going to get my pen out here, over here, is determined by the number of dimensions of the inputted vector. What does that mean? The number of dimensions of an inputted vector. So a vector, remember our, our graph, we're taking a dot and putting it somewhere. So if you had a graph um, or a vector space that had an X and a Y, then you have two inputs for the node, right? You'd have X and Y. And it doesn't have to be X and Y. It could be different kinds of values, but that's the point there, okay? So the input layer is just connection points, okay? This input layer, nothing that this layer does will modify the data, okay? It's just the starting point for it. So the amount of nodes in the output layer is determined by the application of the neural network. So if you have a yes and no classification, uh, then you would only have one output node because you just want to know, is it yes or is it no? Is it zero or is it one? So it would not matter if there was a thousand input nodes, but if your classification is yes or no, you only need a single node for that, right? The output nodes and other layers can modify and compute new values based on the inputted data. Okay, and so data moving between nodes are uh, are uh, multiplied by the weights, right? So that is what a weight does. It it affects uh, the the strength or the weakness of the number of what you want to adjust it for. The weights will be modified during the training process to produce a better outcome. So hopefully that is clear. But the only thing that you don't see here is those hidden layers, those additional layers. But anyway, we'll move on to now talking about how the algorithm of the actual uh, um, neural or the neuron works, okay?